When you're designing a professional piece of jewelry that you want to last and last, the first thing that you want to make sure that you do is choose the proper size beading wire for that design. After you've chosen your proper wire, the next decision that you have to make is what size crimp bead or crimp tube corresponds with that wire. Beadalon has made it very easy by printing on the spools the corresponding sizes of crimp beads and crimp tubes on each of our spools of wire. That way you know that if, for example, you're using a .024 wire, you would use either a number two or number three crimp bead or a number two or three crimp tube. It doesn't matter which you choose, a crimp bead or a crimp tube, as long as the size is the appropriate size for the wire and that you're using the correct tool. Whether or not to use crimp tubes or crimp beads is largely a matter of personal preference. Some people find it much easier to use proper crimping techniques on the crimp tubes. Others find that it's easier to use proper crimping techniques on the beads. Whichever way, you want to make sure that you are using the proper size wire and the proper size tool to correspond with your crimp tubes or your crimp beads. Once you've decided the proper size crimp bead or crimp tube to use with your wire, the next thing that you want to make sure that you do is choose the proper size crimp tool that corresponds with that bead and with that wire. So, for a very thin, fine wire, like an 010 or an 012, that you would use if you were using very light beads with very small holes, you would use a micro crimper tool. For slightly larger wire, like an 015, an 018, or a 024, you would use a size one, two, or three crimp bead, depending on the size wire that you're using, or a two, or three crimp tube. And to crimp those properly, you would use a standard size crimper tool. We also offer a standard size crimper tool in a pocket crimper tool. So the standard size refers to the head size, and the pocket you can see when you compare them side to side is a much smaller travel size of our crimper tool. Lastly, for our very thick wires, an 026 or an 030 or even up to an 036, you would use the Mighty Crimper Tool along with a large size number three crimp bead or a number four crimp tube. You can also use those large size crimp beads and tubes to crimp multiple strands of finer wire or different stringing cords or materials. On each of the individual packs of crimp beads and crimp tubes, you can also see in the upper left-hand corner, it will indicate very clearly what size crimp tube is in the package. We also have on our each spool of wire a chart that shows you which crimp bead, crimp tube, scrimp finding, and easy crimp finding corresponds to each size of beetle on wire from 010 all the way up to 0 0.036. Another great option for crimping beetle arms, number one and number two crimp beads or number two crimp tubes is the dual crimper tool. This tool has two different crimping cavities, one slightly larger than the other, and they make it easy to crimp and tighten down the beads and the tubes properly. 